his traction from he he went from the character with the highest traction in every past game to now the the lowest traction to now the highest traction. Really? Yeah, he used to. You remember how he used to slide yeah, everywhere? Yeah, yeah. Now like he slides Melee nowhere. Smash 4. Melee Smash Four and Brawl. He slid um, everywhere. Now he slides nowhere. His, tra his traction's the highest now. That's like a key factor that they changed. All right, yeah. what do we got? Greninja versus Krom. This is Winter. This is, okay, okay, Winter Krom. Um, I actually so as a Greninja, I, I can give instead. I really like this matchup a lot. We are slightly faster than Krom, and like like most Source characters, we're really gonna try to whip punish you. We want to bait you to swing so we can punish you with mainly dash attack. You can like cheese him too with a Hydro Pump, right? You can absolutely cheese him with counter or Hydro Pump. It's really hard for Krom to recover against Greninja. Exactly. I think this is like as soon as Krom gets off stage, it's like stock. <laughs> Krom can kind of smother you, and it's it's not so bad in neutral per se. But once Krom's off stage, it's really bad. Exactly. So I think the Krom has to like hold center stage on the line and just try to keep it, while the Greninja player can do. I think it's just much easier for Greninja because like the projectiles, the bait and punish, uh, especially in the Swordy character. Oh, as I say that. Yeah, he went for a, a Shuriken stall, and, and Winner just kind of ran off and forward smashed him. Um, should, oh, he could have up smashed that. Uh, a little bit of nerves, maybe. Definitely didn't need to go for fair there. Absolutely. Nerves is also another underrated thing. I think people should take out. Oh, absolutely, yes. Uh, up air chains are getting somewhere. He could have gotten it if he jumped a little bit faster. Using the platform to his advantage. Oh, good DI out. I feel like you could have been more aggressive. Yeah, Sparky just trying to... Not, not, not. Oh, a nice air dodge. He doesn't recover with the up B. If he did, then also, yeah, counter, right? Ca counter and Hydro Pump both. I don't really... Okay, good. Down tilt fair we're going to get. Uh, Sparky played this matchup in the crew battle, though, and he didn't really go for Hydro Pump all that much, so I don't know how, like, kind of woke to it he is. Uh, I'm sure he might not be used to it. Ooh. F smash is ridiculous. He got the most inner part of the jab, which will true combo into F smash there. Oh, I also play Krom. <laughs> <laughs> so I actually know a lot about these characters. Um, yeah, so Sparky down a little bit because of that uh, that really aggressive fair that we decided to do to him early on. So we're going to see what he can do to make this up. I like that side beat. He's using the platform to cover himself up a bit, and the side beat cover like all the space, basically. Yeah, for sure. That. So if he just came there are so many active lanes to... Uh, I feel like the point is in a small situation now, because like, it's a good example of like how to abuse the platforms of PS2. Yeah. I think that's really important. It's always important. It's like one of the main things. Okay. Like, that platform is actually so good. I agree, it's very good. Um, yeah, Sparky, oof. Sparky getting like kind of really beat out in neutral here. Um, he's he's kind of letting Krom bully him, which is what Krom wants to do. But if you let Krom bully you, you're going to have a really hard time. Absolutely. Goes for Nair. Sparky's kind of missing some of his conversions here. Greninja can get a lot off Nairs in neutral, and I've kind of seen him get Nairs and not do much about it. Yeah, I don't know. I think, I think the Greninja's not playing defensive or very big punch. I agree. I think I think that after the first stock, he's playing a little too scared. Ooh, good back here. Nice back here. That was a really good rising back here. Want the net tilt? From center stage, good stocks remaining. Okay. Yeah, um, it definitely looked a lot more even. It looked like Sparky kind of got shook a little bit after that first stock. I um, imagine, yeah. Yeah, so we'll see if he stays grand or if he goes DSS. I don't really think he needs to switch. I just kind of think he needs to... Calm down. It kind of looked like he, he got a little nervous there. Purely matchup wise, I don't think it matters if it goes uh, Greninja or ZSS. I agree. Just because, uh, I mean, I feel like both of kids kind of win against Krom because you have projectiles, you can wall them out, you can you can cheese them. Okay, well, you we, we will stay Greninja though. We are going to Town City for game two. I, I like this one. This is also a really good Krom stage, but I have to imagine that, that FD and Kalos were banned. Um, Probably. Those are usually the, the kind of go to bans against Greninja. I like to imagine that. That maybe Town City, I think there's a bigger stage in PS2, so I think I think you wanted like the room and like the platform layout. So it's a bigger stage in height, but it actually is a little bit smaller on the sides. Oh, okay, okay. So Krom does really well here, specifically on the on the Kalos. Ooh, Ooh that was a good back air. Hydro pump, please. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> sort of works. Kind of, yeah. So this is the FD part of it. The next transformation we're gonna get though is Krom this transformation. The one, the more Kalos. Like one with the two side yeah, yeah, That makes sense because he gets a like back air when the platforms are. He, he gets a lot of back. He gets a lot of jab back air shenanigans off of this. This is right now. This is this is Krom's best transformation. He wants this one. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. This is a, again a really good stage for both. But good early kill there from Sparky, kind of turning in a complete opposite from what we saw in the last game. Right. No. I, he's he's turning his turn. Just just like those. Uh, unlike those past matches, he's really like. That was a great combo. Oh my God. 
trying to avoid every dangerous thing to do to you. Yeah, Sparky missed the jab lock before. Went through the jerk and good. Just kind of cover that. Got frame traps. Yeah, back here. I also feel like that's kind of one of the bad things about the jerks. Like, I feel like he's kind of very like inconsistent because like it's really it's really difficult uh, to get like those combos like uh, down tilt to like there. You have to aim everything with Greninja. He's got very precise hitboxes, so like you have to be very on point with him. Otherwise, it's pretty hard. That seems about right. I feel, I feel like I, I, uh, I mean, it relates to consistency. But he does get the fair. He's up a whole stock base essentially. Yeah, Greninja can do it. It's just that the problem is that you, Greninja kind of Greninja kind of demands excellence from his player. That's the thing. Of course, yes. At like all times. Like I feel like with some sorties, you can kind of get away if you're having like not the best day. But Greninja is kind of like if you're not playing well, it's gonna we're gonna have a hard time here. Absolutely. <laughs> Especially when like so Greninja can like bait and punish. Yeah. But like. What happens if people like catch up on him, right? Yeah, exactly. Like, what is Greninja gonna do? Like, kind of just to, like dash back. Now you have to rely on like pure fundamentals, pure like leading. So Greninja actually has a frame three jab and a frame five down tilt. So his boxing game isn't terrible. I haven't seen that bad. Yeah, by the numbers at least. No, yeah, no, it's not. It's not like down tilt's really good. It's a frame five grounded move, so like you kind of have to respect it if you know that the opponent wants to dash in a lot. Um, Sparky really turning this one around. Complete opposite from what we saw last game, where uh, winner was up early on. Sparky kind of got up early on, and he, he seems like he's keeping his momentum real well. Of course. Yeah. No, um, I don't know what it is. I think it's uh, at least for Greninja. Um, but it's, the stage certainly is working in his favor. Yeah, I don't think PS2 like. Oh, he could have killed him. Too nervous. To, yeah, he didn't want to. Didn't want to risk it at it. Especially fair. That was a forward air, Sparky. Please. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, he's dead. He got it. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> I he thought the Greninja was coming to go for he got, he got the kill anyway, but as a Greninja raid, I've just seen him miss so many confirms. I'm like, please. They're hard to do. I'd imagine they're, like, really hard to do. They're hard to do because the little time you have to react to them, but, like, exactly. that could go, like, one way or the other, and you have to go for, like, a different move, right? So, well, so so that Nair, he could have absolutely gotten fair. That's a little bit more situational, but that down tilt, I was like, come on, that is your main kill confirm. Down tilt up smash is Greninja's main kill confirm. Please. Oh, so kind of like mini -con. Like, back in Smash yeah. 4. Yeah, pretty much, okay. yeah. They kind of traded now because in Smash 4, down tilt up smash wasn't too consistent for Greninja, but it was for Diddy, and now it's kind of the opposite. It's not too consistent for Diddy, but it's pretty consistent for Greninja. Interesting. Right? Yeah. That's kind of the way that I look at it. Right. Yeah, it's weird, because Diddy Kong's, like, down tilt kind of, like, sends you, like, a little further. They, they gave it more, there's more DI range on Diddy down tilt now, so you can kind of hog DI it out and he can't get it. Okay. You can with Greninja's too, but Greninja's is actually faster than Diddy's. I think Diddy's down tilt is like, I want to say frame like 7 or 8, and Greninja's is 5. I think I see the logic with what this is PS2, but smaller, so that means less room for the Greninja to move. I actually think this is a better stage for Greninja than PS2, because we can't up tilt the platforms on PS2, but we can on here. Oh, interesting. Okay. So I actually think we, we, we pressure platforms a lot better on here than we do PS2. Greninja doesn't, like, Greninja, Greninja's a character where it's like, if, you, if, if you're good with your movement, like, in tight quarters, it's like, he doesn't need a lot of movement, a lot of room like other characters do. It's just you need to be precise about the movement. Like, that's the thing. Greninja's kind of, like, precision in the character. That's that's how I view it. Not Pikachu? Uh, no, no. Pikachu gets belligerently hit buttons in your face and be safe. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah. T-Joel <laughs> buttons. <laughs> T-Joel <Yeah>. buttons. <laughs> oh, T-Joel buttons. Yeah. Pretty even so far. Oh, yeah. Slight percent lead. Oh, great. That was, a, that was a nice... So, full charge shuriken, if you actually do it into a stage like that, you, you get the strong hitbox immediately. <laughs> he, got, he got the weight, but it wasn't enough to... Uh, but yeah, it wasn't quite enough. Slightly mistimed it there. I do want to say, Winter, like, he knows weight. Well, he knows the stuff about platforms. He does. I, he needs dash back on the platform. He knows how to use the platforms. He knows what he should. He could have countered or, or hydro pump there, but no. Winner definitely knows his character well. He knows Prom, and he seems kind of comfortable in this matchup too. I think this is a pretty even matchup, but like it's fun because like they kind of just run at each other. Right. There's no cam There's less camping. Unless, yeah. unless they like the shurikens like make that much of a deal. Unless Howler's playing Greninja. I'm sorry, Greg. <laughs> but you do camp a lot. Yeah, I like what he's doing with the. Uh, he uses the uh, the shuriken to like stop momentum and then put himself in the position to like back it. Yeah, Greninja Gren 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 Shuriken gives you one air stall before you touch ground again. 
and then uh, and then it doesn't after that. But he's pressuring the platforms there, good. Um, yeah, see, see, Greninja can kind of just hang out and pressure you with back air. And his short hop, he doesn't land on the platform, so he can just kind of continuously short hop and back air you. Sorry, on. <laughs> no, you're good. You're good. Uh, Sparky, Ooh. counter. Okay. Too late of a counter. Oh, with the pants. Nice. Okay, this is looking very cool. I see what you mean now. The stage is... Yes. I think, well, I have you in the but, like, I think, still, though, he's capitalizing. He's making the... Ooh, okay, not that one, but I, still. I think Winter kind of felt like, this was kind of like what you said before, this is smaller PS2, so I'm going to be able to smother him even better than I did then. But, like I said, I think I don't think he realizes the advantages that Greninja also gets from the stage that he doesn't get from PS2. Right. Is there anything else other than that, too? Uh, the, uh, well, the platforms are lower for that reason, but the stage is also, in general, is, in, in general it's smaller as far as blast zones go, too. Um, I think height-wise they're the same, but I'm pretty sure this also has slightly smaller side blast zones. So you're going to get the kill for, like, back air. You're going to get back air, fair, and, like, F-Smash kills a little bit a little bit sooner than you would on PS2. I just realized the Nair can also, like, make you land on the platform and it can be a tech situation on the platform. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Greninja can actually, um, I've been trying to explore his platform tech chase options a lot lately. Yeah, see, we can pressure with up air, back air. Um, yeah, Winner just hasn't really been able to get much going. Um, he's kind of been on the defensive the entire time here. And Which is good. Which, I mean, it's good for Sparky, yeah. Ooh, a little, little crouch walk there. There's no, there's no reason to uh, to approach on Sparky's perspective. No. I think it's a much better idea to like make him approach as much as possible. Oh, no, absolutely here. Um, yeah, absolutely. I mean, Winner has to make something happen. He's down a full stock, and, and essentially he's almost going to be lapped in percent soon here. Exactly. Oh, probably could have, I probably would have went for an F tilt or something there, maybe. Uh, you can't get that, but that's okay. Just shields it. This is not Ike. Just gotta hang on the ledge. If, if he wants anything. Uh oh. Should have could have F tilted that. Or... No, but the F tilt. Living at 122 percent. Maybe we'll see something out of winter. Hopefully not. Cheese from the. Ooh, oh, gonna run into fair and die for it. And Sparky right. takes it 2-1. That was, that was great by Sparky to kind of like regain his composure and kind of just be like, okay, I know what to do. I know this matchup. I I, I just got to not kind of be so antsy. Right, right. Sometimes